Cardo workflows are here. We announced Cardo workflows at the Spatial Data Science Conference this fall, and now we are ready to release this new visual programming tool that will bring spatial analytics to everyone. So why am I so excited about workflows? There's so many amazing things you can do with GIS and geospatial data in a modern data warehouse. You can perform just about any geospatial operation you want to with much larger data volumes than traditional GIS setup. Geospatial data is growing at tremendous rates, so new, easy to use tools will be essential to make use of and analyze this data. However, to really unlock the power of the modern geospatial data stack, there's been one big barrier in the way. Spatial SQL is powerful, yet very time intensive to learn. Spatial SQL is rarely taught in schools and generally learned on the job. This takes time and effort, and there are minimal resources available to really learn spatial SQL for geospatial analytics. And for the wider analytics community, learning everything you need to know about spatial analysis on top of learning spatial SQL is an even greater challenge. Workflows is our approach to overcoming that problem. To help everyone take advantage of the power of spatial SQL and the modern geospatial data stack without needing to learn SQL yourself. Workflows uses a familiar model builder interface to allow you to create one or many interconnected analyses and string them together. With workflows, you can import remote data, geocode, create drive time isochrone, build the distance matrix, find nearest neighbors, point in polygon statistics, spatial filter, spatial joins, make lines in polygons, count points in a geometry, pull lat longs from points, share your results over email, perform DB scan clusters or k-means clusters, create Voronoi polygon, create Delaney triangle, quad bin function, use any number of H3 functions, clip polygons, measure areas, create buffers, create centroid, create concave and convex hulls, simplify your geometries, measure lengths, snap points to polygons, snap points to grids. Oh, and it includes all of your normal SQL operations as well. Workflows runs everything on your native data warehouse, and if you don't have one yet, you can just use ours. This means that you get to use the full power of spatial analysis running on a cloud data warehouse without having to write a single line of code. At any step, you can review your works, see it on the map, and check all of your results. Once your results are ready, you can easily take that data and create a new map visualization all without leaving the Cardo workspace. What's great is once your workflow is set, you can actually set a schedule and interval for it to run so you never have to touch it again and keep it running as long as you want. And since we're using SQL natively in the data warehouse, Workflows compiles the entire workflow into SQL, so you can actually review the code and even modify it yourself. Take a look at this workflow. This entire workflow allows us to ingest current weather risk and temperature forecast, intersect that data with store location, filter to areas with weather risks and high and low temperatures, and share that map and report to key stakeholders. Workflows is applicable to all user types and skill levels. Workflows lets data analysts, without any prior experience in geospatial, leverage and use geospatial data in a cloud environment without writing code. GIS analysts can harness the power of spatial SQL and the cloud without spending lots of time to relearn a new skill. And data scientists and data engineers can automate common tasks or simple data transformations like importing and cleaning data. We think workflows can work for everyone and will make using powerful new tools even easier for anyone that uses spatial data. But we want you to give it a try. You can sign up for a free trial at cardo.com by clicking here. And if you're a student, you can actually get a free account by using the link in the description. Make sure to subscribe to our channel as we'll be adding new videos to this playlist right here. That's it for today and we hope to hear from you soon.